Hello and welcome to another World War Planes review video and in this video we'll be reviewing the uh, Russian I-16 late edition and uh, I've stuck two of these videos together because the first one wasn't very long so we get a good uh, representation of what it's like being a battle at the top and what it's like being a battle kind of relative to the bottom you can see how this aircraft performs this aircraft is pretty damn good. Um, one of the main reasons for that is because of how manoeuvrable it is. Um, it might be the only tier 4 aircraft that doesn't have flaps. I don't know. But I know it doesn't have flaps. But uh, it's really, really good at uh, manoeuvring, turning around corners and uh, rolling. And so it's quite hard to catch. Um, which is a bonus because you can get on someone else's tail tail really easily, but they find it hard to get on yours, and especially some of the biplanes still find it hard to get on my rear because of how manoeuvrable this thing is and how fast it is. But that's only uh, fast in terms of being uh, top tier against lower tiers like tier three. Otherwise, it's actually incredibly slow if you get stuck into another game where you're at the bottom of the tier list. Um, so the engine on this isn't actually that good. Um, it heats up really fast, and you can't really um, climb very fast either. You end up only going maybe 2,000 2, feet. No, not 2,000 feet, like, I don't know maybe two or three hundred feet and then you end up starting to uh, lose some power and so you start to fall down again so the engine on this isn't actually that good but you can see the maneuverability is uh, really good um, in terms of uh, firepower this thing has two 20mm machine guns on the wings and uh, two 7.62 machine guns in the in the front of the nose so this thing has a lot of firepower um, compared to things like the BF 109E I think it was I think it was the E which only has um, one 20 more cannon in the front this has got two on its wings so it's able to take down aircraft pretty damn quickly um, just because of all that firepower there now the only disadvantage to this aircraft is well, there's two actually. Uh, the how slow it is, and the amount of health that you get. Um, you only get 80 health, which is a bit of a bummer because you got other aircraft that are, hang on, uh, that are um, slightly higher in the amount of health that they give you. So you can quite easily get shot down because you're so slow. Um, so you really do have to kind of play this aircraft's advantages to you with the firepower and the maneuverability. And so we'll see how good the maneuverability on this here is here because we're against uh, we're against tier six aircraft in this game as well. Are we? I think we are. Tier five on tier six, anyhow. So you can see now the climb. I'm holding the boost up to do do some climbing, and uh, you can see my miles per hour are going down pretty quickly. I didn't really get that far in the climb, so climbing speed on this with the boost is not very good. And I think this is the fully upgraded um, engine. I can't entirely remember, but I think it is. And uh, it it cools down quite quickly though. Maybe compared to another aircraft engine, it cools down slightly quicker, I think. Which is good, I suppose. Um, we're just going to go and try and find some players now. And we should see how manoeuvrable this is compared to a higher tier aircraft. the maneuverability in this helps when you're diving as well because you can dive down and pull up a little bit later and uh, pull up harder which is quite useful I'm 
course the dive speed isn't very very fast. Good hit. Pull so I pulled up quite lately there. Almost made I almost didn't make that. So the, this is where the kind of the speed and speed of the engine fails because if I had a little more bit more power there I could have carried on hitting him but of course I stalled because I couldn't get up that high um, and then when, you, when you're going against bombers and things of course bombers have I think twice the amount of um, engine boost time that a fighter does so it's hard, they're harder to get because they also go faster because they've got two engines so you can see here the uh, the maneuverability in the turn the way this aircraft turns it's doing me favours after this one my FPS isn't doing me favours because that's why I keep rolling too much <laughs> but uh, yeah I mean I'm getting a lot of hits on this guy For a big map like this, it's quite hard to get across to go and kill the other players. You're just so slow. So, I mean, in overall, this is a really good aircraft um, to play, purely because of its manoeuvrability and firepower. But, it's particularly bad in um, speed. So, by all means, go up to, go along the, the Russian aircraft, tiers because I think oh, you'll probably enjoy to run flying these kind of aeroplanes uh, with their 20 mil machine guns and stuff but the firepower gets worse and the speed gets higher so it's kind of uh, a little bit annoying there we go we've got the last one to me It took me ages to get over there compared to the other aircraft. So, I think that's all I can say about this aircraft. I'll give you a quick uh, view around what it looks like now. You can see the two 20 mm machine guns on the top there. I don't know if they've taken it out, but you could have a third um, 7.62 machine gun in the bottom of the nose. And if you do choose to choose that, it's not very good compared to your 220 mils. So you're better off going the 220 mils rather than the uh, one extra 7.62. But yeah, I mean, this is a really good aircraft to fly. I enjoy flying it. And so I hope you enjoyed this uh, review of this uh, Isle, Isle I-16 late edition. And uh, please thumbs up and subscribe because I'll keep doing the review of the all the different airplanes. I hope to do a review of every single one of them. And uh, I'll post some gameplays, uh, one to me dying as well, because they, they're quite fun watching me die. I'll see you in the next video.